This is basically a collection of stories that I've written at some point. Two of them are on my channel, which I read through completely seriously. Um, Jerry the cat is a fucking mess. This is embarrassingly bad. It's awful. And then there's two more stories which I wrote in elementary school. The the ones that you know your teachers are just your teachers just like you did a great jerking job. themselves jerking themselves off about how good of a teacher they are because you have your own hardback books. Mm -hmm. This is Kira. This is my grill grilly friend. Now introducing Jerry the cat. It was eight. I can't read this shit. I can't <laughs> read it. <laughs> Please rewrite it. I can't read I'm it. I'm not going to rewrite this piece of shit. Can you even read it? Yes. It was eight years ago, near the end of summer. Jerry was playing the usual games with his friends. He was seven years old and loved cats. His last cat, Shady, passed away. <laughs> But instead of making him sad and grieve the loss, it only made his love of cats increase. Anyhow... No! The uh, uh, sorry, keep going. <laughs> the game that Jerry and his friends play was where they pretended that they are their favorite animals. Jerry, of course, played as a cat. His friend Peter uh... played as a penguin. And Don. It's Don. And Don played as a snake. After the day, though, things would change. Jerry... Foreshadowing. Oh God. Jerry oh. came home that night. Another witch. Another witch. I can't. I can't read that. Here. Jerry. As for another cat, which he had done <laughs> every day. So he attempted to ask. Uh, he attempted, to, he attempted to ask his mom again. She said no. So he proceeded to beg. Eventually, his mother grew weary of his begging and sent him to his room. I thought that said, ah, I said prom. I'm like, what? <laughs> Go to the prom, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> he had been on restriction for about an hour with nothing to downhill <laughs> what do until that looks like downhill <laughs> down nothing to downhill <laughs> he heard meowing and scratching at his front door it made him jump a little he opened the door slowly and and on his deck sat a medium-sized cat something was odd about it its fur was black oh now he's racist all black cats must be bad. <laughs> of course it was black. Why couldn't it have been an evil calico cat? It should have been an evil calico cat. <laughs> but there's nothing scarier than the color black. Black cats are adorable. You know it. They, they are. But everything dark is scary. Except for people. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean dark people. I don't mean dark people even. I don't... I, I just keep digging myself a bigger hole. Its fur was black. And its texture felt like that of human hair. Mm. Its eyes were about normal. two times the scale of normal cat eyes. Like yes. little bub. Yeah, little bub just came up to his doorstep. Jerry ignored these facts, these factors, factors, mm -hmm. and proceeded to pick it up. But when he got too close, the cat pupils grew and it attacked Jerry. This shit's really scribbled. The cat jumped on Jerry on Jerry's face and scratched it violently. Jerry quickly pulled it away and threw it outside to where it ran away and into the street. Up street Did scribbled like street the street was scribbled out fog. Vanished into the fog. Damn, that was too bad I didn't make that mistake. I was about to make a joke about it, like, vanishing. It went into the street. <laughs> yeah, into the it, 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 it disappeared into the pavement. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Upon hearing this event, Jerry is not sure about the event. Wouldn't it be so traumatizing if you'd never want to talk about the evil cat that mauled his face? <laughs> Jerry's mom ran from her room to check on him. Oh my god! She yelled. This face. This is what all true warriors this face. for. This. You put this instead of his. No, wait, what? This. It looks like this. Hold the on. The way you wrote it looks like this. No, that's a, that's a capital H. Yeah, I know it does. His face looked like shredded paper. There were so many deep cuts. It didn't look <laughs> like he was attacked by a cat, but rather several small pocket knives. His cuts quickly became infected with it, and his mom was- Wow, you do not write well in pen. Sure rushed do. him to the bathroom to wash his face without question of what had happened. The water didn't help much. Scribble, scribble. But it stopped the pain. Why, why, why would the water stop the pain? I actually don't know. Um, I, I, what? I the water this? didn't help much, but it stopped the pain. It's holy water. <laughs> Cat's a demon. <laughs> Jerry was sent to bed after his mother tending to his wounds. What, what does she use? Just water? Just water. Just water. And if that's kind of ibuprofen. Here, take these. It's like whiskey or something. <laughs> there you go, you won't feel any of it now. Here's your alcoholic holy water. The next morning, Jer Jerry felt a bit different. He got out of bed and looked in the mirror. Everything looked normal, yet something stood out. His cuts, they were gone. He took, so took nothing it. stood out, right? Because you know, his wounds are gone. <laughs> That's not what it's written here. His cuts, they were gone. He took it for granted and proceeded and proceeded to get ready for the first for the first day of school. Of course, it's the first day of school. It was near the end of summer, remember? Oh, right. Why did it have to be the first day of school? Why couldn't it be a week before school started? Did I say somewhere near the end of summer? Uh, no, never mind. It just says near, near the end of summer. It was the end of summer. His mother was cooking breakfast. It smelled more delicious than usual, which, of course, he took for granted. This is the second time you've used that phrase. Took for granted? I guess so. Don't. You need to change this. You need to change this. Maybe bag. I was watching Labyrinth a lot. Don't take things for granted. <laughs> While walking through the kitchen, Jerry's mom dropped her plate, and with one swift movement, Jerry caught it up with one hand. His mother was surprised and assumed that he was just growing up. <laughs> He's just growing up. But every My day, son, his father did the same thing. Caught that plate. What him? So I know it was him. I knew I picked the right one. It's terrible. But every day throughout the week became more and more scribble, scribble, unusual. His sense of smell began to increase. Is he turning into a cat? No. Oh God! Of course he is. <laughs> his sense of smell began to increase, along with his hearing. His reflexes enhanced and his nails growing faster than they should. No! Nope. <laughs> Definitely not! not. A cat. <laughs> he just absorbed the cat's DNA from the scratches. Yep! <laughs> Please rewrite this. No. Please rewrite this. this. It shouldn't have existed in the first place. Jerry knew that this was not a result of gross spirit. Well, duh! It was that weekend that Jerry's condition, you should put quote quotes around that, yeah. had gotten the best of him. His uncle Aaron was over for a visit. For I spelled first... it with an E. That's the that's the female Aaron. Not all Aaron was spelled with E. No. A-A-Ron. A-Ron. A-A-Ron. That's Aaron. That's anyway, Aaron. Aaron's, his uncle Aaron has two A's. 
we change it to aunt. Aaron was over for a visit for the- Change this. For for the first time in three years, Aaron leaned over to give Jerry a hug. And instead of returning his uncle's gesture, he swung his left arm and scratched the side of his cheek. You made it sound like he scratched his own cheek. The scratched the side of his cheek, which drew blood and became infected. Jerry! His mother yelled. Go to your room now! What was I thinking? Jerry the philosopher. <laughs> Jerry asked himself on his way to his room. Later that night, after Aaron left, Jerry's mother called him out for dinner. She got no response. Jerry, are you there? Oh, God. He's a cat, isn't he? No. She asked... <laughs> She asked yeah. as she slowly stalked to the I door. I am hungry. She opened the door and was shocked For and bitches. appalled. And was shocked and appalled at what she saw. What used to be her son stood before her as a feline in figure of a human. Who resembled the shape the blades of his pocket knife and his face resembled the shape of the Cheshire cat. Uh, the smile. It, it was the smile. it was vicious with fangs larger than a vampire's. <laughs> he was looking down. He lifted his head slowly until until he and his mom were looking eye to eye. In the most sinister voice he said Thank you. In in fact, I am hungry. I'm you look hungry. like something that I could satisfy my hunger. Jerry unsheathed his claws and his left I thought his claw. claws were already unsheathed. No, he, he just unsheathed his claws oh. from his left paw and began slowly walking towards his mother, in whom stepped backwards to get away. She bumped into the corner and was trapped! Oh! <laughs> Jerry lifted his left paw and batted. Yep. Slicing her jugular, she fell to the ground and Jerry ate the remains. Yum. <laughs> then fled out into the darkness, only to be located by his... How oh, did you, do you suppose he went mom nom nom? Mom nom! <laughs> <laughs> located by his victims, which were left with no more than bones. How do we know? Part two. I am an eyewitness of this event and have been hearing about similar scenarios. I gave the police mm -hmm. a description of what I saw, but after and after eight years, they still haven't found him. That's because they think I'm crazy, and I had to go to through therapy. That didn't help, but believe me, he's real. I don't remember being that angsty. This is horrible go with creepy pastas. Uh, you put the nobody believes me at the beginning of the story. I hate, why didn't he just buy the cat from an old man at a garage sale? Oh my god. Don't have this cat. It's cursed, I swear. I bought the cat anyway. Why could <laughs> be wrong? It's just a cat. I'll give you ten dollars. Okay, I can't say no to money. Okay guys, uh, end of part one, that was Jerry the cat. Moving on, it's probably going to take a hell of a lot less time to read the other things because they're actually in text. Because Orb Zero, I read through Orb Zero again, it really wasn't that bad. But Jerry the cat was a fucking abomination. Those weren't written, like, they actually weren't written too far from each other. I don't know how, like, Orb Zero turned out to be such an improvement upon Jerry the cat, like... It's uh, it's still on my YouTube. If you want to watch it, it's there. It's just a waste of time. But if I'm going to give you one suggestion, if you're going to watch or listen to Jerry the Cat on YouTube, turn on closed captions. It's hilarious. There was something about, uh, something about in there, like, I didn't get to changing them all. So some of the things are pretty ridiculous, like something about vampires not being the size of Spain. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's that. Howdy, guys. This is my surprise upload, and this is probably what I'm going to be doing uh, each time I 
upload a fan fiction reading, just a little talk at the end. Uh, maybe not about the fan fiction, just maybe about what's going on in my life right now. Um, I'm, I'm ready to start my life for once. Um, I've got some goals and aspirations, and I'm ready to get out there and kick some ass. Uh, meanwhile, on the side, I still want to read fan fictions and stuff for the audience and all that. And there's there's more where this came from. I've got a few more stories that are gonna be on the way. Uh, the next one's also read uh, read by my girlfriend. So I'm gonna upload the next one, give it a shot, see how that goes, and then uh, I'll read through my other story and then I'll zero after that. And that's the, that's my plan. So thank you guys for listening in. I'm very surprised if you made it this far. So thank you very much. And I'm oh, and I'm really surprised I have 68 subscribers. That that might not be much, but for a little channel like me, 68 is something I never thought I'd get up to. I thought it was just going to be eight forever when I started, but now I'm here at 68 subscribers, and that feels pretty good. And, uh, I, I mean, thank you guys very much, seriously. It means a lot. And give Jacob a look, too. His channel, Dodongo's Revenge. Don't bypass that channel. There's some good stuff there. Goodbye.